Uh, hello, everyone, and thank you all for coming to the fifth installment in our Leo's Club latest web series, Lead with the Vision. I'm your host, Chetan Dutta, and today we have a great episode with a very special guest. But before we introduce our guest, I'd like to pass it to my co-host, Ojis, Leo Ojis. Thank you so much, Leo Chetan. And really, this is an exciting episode, our end of the year closing out episode. We started this series uh, a little while ago just to help our club and help members in our community gain some leadership skills through this pandemic. And really, you've had some uh, great installments so far, and we're uh, going to have a great one today. Just one thing I'd like to preview before we start for today, we have a great holiday exchange series starting next week, which will delve into the uh, different cultural connections that we make as Lions and Leos throughout different festivals that are celebrated around this time of year. But I don't want to, we'll talk a little bit more about that later after the session today, but Hope you all enjoy and back to you, Leo Chetan. Um, so now I'd like to introduce our guest. Um, so our guest today is Leo Juan Manuel or Pollo Caceres. Um, Leo Juan Manuel Pollo Caceres from Fray Buentos, Uruguay, was appointed by the international president, Young Yol Choi, to serve as a Leo Lion board liaison of Lions Clubs International from 2020 through 2021. Juan, or Pollo, as he is known by many, has been an active Leo since joining the Fray Buentos Leo Club in 2007. He transitioned to a Leo line in 2017 and is currently serving as a member of the Montevideo Ancina Lions Club and Montevideo Ancina Leo Club. As a part of the Leo program, he has held a number of offices, including club president and multiple district president. He served as the organizing committee secretary in 2018 mm -hmm. for ELAC, was appointed as the registration committee chairperson for the 2018 FOLAC forum, Uruguayan spoke as a 2019 Leo advisory panelist representing CA3 at FOLAC Forum Rosario. As a Lion, he served as vice president and secretary for his club and as a district cabinet treasurer, as well as a district GLT chairperson. Poyo is a human resource analyst for the Technical University of Uruguay and manages human resources for the Southwest Regional Techno Technological Institute. He holds a bachelor's degree as a legal procurator and postgraduate degrees in information systems of organizations and IT business management. Poyo is also a certified international swimming referee for the South American Swimming Confederation. In recognition of his service, Poyo has received a number of awards, including a presidential certificate of appreciation from PIP Ingvadotir for his role at ELAC Uruguay, presidential certificate from PIP Agarwal, in recognition of his dedication to serving his district. Leo Lyon Board Liaison Poyo is passionate about supporting environmental projects and is committed to representing the voice of Leos and young lions around the world. His vision for the future of lions is to empower every generation to better serve their communities. So while Poyo gets loaded up for the presentation, I don't want to take away from his time, but while that bio is very impressive, I think the, the greatest thing that you're going to get out of this seminar is that Poyo is very, very, very energetic. That's, he's a great personality. So I hope that shows through in this virtual format. So back to you, Poyo. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to be here with you. I'm so, so honored and happy to be here. Thank you for the invitation. And well, okay, just um, a small point before my presentation is, you know, I'm from Uruguay. It's a very small South America country. So my native language is Spanish. So maybe if during my presentation, there's something that 
do not make so much sense that I said, feel free to write on the chat and ask me for clarification because maybe there are some concepts in English that weren't so clear. So, but I promise you I will do my best for this presentation that I will start sharing my screen now. And of course, if any time during my presentation there's something you want me to talk more about or whatever, just feel free to use the, the chat to ask me. Yeah, well, okay. I was invited today. I will be checking the chat. So, okay, yeah. Hi, Leo and Lion from all over the country. So I was asked today to talk about making an impactful service project. This is what will be my presentation about. And yeah, first of all, I want to share with you what to expect from my presentation today. Today we will be talking about First of all, learning about our work community, talk with those you want to help, figure out your potential as a Leo Club or as a Lion Club, identify the resources you need to your service project, make strategy alliance, and get involved. And this, this last point is the, the most important thing I want to I want you to keep in your mind because we, when we are thinking about impactful service project, we have to know that it's important to really get involved, to sympathize, mostly empathize with the people that we are helping and keep in our mind that this kind of service project requires to do ongoing service project. It's not just something we do once. Yeah, this is what we are going to talk for the next minutes and are the main ideas that I want you to keep in your mind, yeah? So, well, first of all, we are talking about identify the needs. When, when we are thinking about doing a project, it is important that we go to our community because sometimes we Leo Clouds or Lion Club, we just try to do activities that we feel comfortable, but maybe those activities are good, of course, but are, aren't the activities that really needs our community. So we have to do this kind of mental exercise where we think about what is needed in our neighborhood, in our city, or maybe in our country and also think about is there any other person or any other organization that it's uh, already working on that because you know for example just to give one example when we are talking about environmental activities we know there is Greenpeace that have been working in this kind of service project for many many years so it's someone that we can maybe partnership and mostly we had to try to identify the people or the groups that we identify as in need. And, and you see that I put in need this way because I will talk about that concept now. And it's what I mentioned about learning about your community and understanding the concept in need as a circumstantial situation. Because it's really, really impactful in the way the people we help perceive our help if we see them as equal person. Because many times, many volunteer organizations think about, okay, I am the person in this position and the people who is needed, it's under my position. And if we think about that we all human are the same and it depends in which moment of our life we are, the community we were born and because of that, the opportunity we, we have had, we will see that the need could change in the times and could change considering the age we have and will change considering the community where we live. So many clubs, for example, do environmental activities. And maybe if we are talking about environmental activities, it's more difficult to think the people in need that we are talking about. Because when we think about that, of course, the environment is for everyone. So we are helping every people because somehow everyone is in need 
to have better environment. So this is something that I want you to think about and understand that, that this in need concept, it's circumstantial situation because maybe nowadays I have a job and everything is good with my economy and I can afford for my for my food and afford for my vest and everything, but tomorrow we don't know what we will happen with us. So this is a concept that it's really important for me to have to keep in your mind if we are thinking to do a service project. Because this allows the, the, the people you are helping really feel that thing. If you are standing in a in a higher position of you if you are standing in an equal position and it will allow you to make a better personal connection with the people you are helping so that you will be able to develop a better solution for for the issue the problem you are trying to solve yeah and in the same way in the same way talk with the people you want to help yeah make this powerful question and ask with empathetic. Okay, I, if we are thinking in the project, I identify a group of people that I want to help. It's, it is important for me to go with that people and ask them how they feel, what they feel they, uh, they need. Because many times, because we are in a different position, we think that the best solution for them will be X. And in their point of view, that they are the people who is needing, needed uh, for a solution, they think that the solution that we think it's great, it's not helpful. So it's really important use this kind of design thinking that, okay, I go with the group of people that need the, 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 um, the help and ask them, what are the main obstacles you are running into? How do you think we can help you or we can develop a solution for you? How do you think that Leo Club or Lions Club, if they know about Leo Club or Lions Club, and if they do not know, tell them what is our organization about, what resources do we have? And if also think about if there's, as I mentioned earlier, if there's another person or organization who can help to develop a solution. This is a very, very important concept that I want you to, uh, that I want to share with you. Think with empathetic. This is really, really important. And it's not just uh, ask the other person, how do they feel? It's just to really try to understand why that person is in the position that the person is and why that person think in the way they think. Is it because they live in some community? Is it because they have determined needs? Is it because their family is in some, it's in some way or it's in another? It's to do this mental exercise to really put in the other shoes. So, this is really, really important. And I want to share with you this powerful question as a way so you can connect with them. Then figure out your potential because sometimes we want to do impactful service projects and we have really great ideas and really good ideas, but in some way we are, maybe we are not able to approach a very, very big problem to solve. So it's important for, for us to know ourselves and think, okay, my Leo Club, how many Leos do we are? How many lions do we are? Who we are? Identify, when, when I'm talking about who we are, it's also identify in which community are we working or in which, with what communities are we able to work with? What resources do we have? I mean, what is the budget our Leo Club or Lions Club have? We have a place where we can meet. We don't have it. We have to meet in, in the house of someone. This is another question we have to do. 
what expertise do we have? I mean, maybe we can, we in our Leo Club, we have someone who is studying architecture or someone who is becoming a doctor or it's becoming a lawyer. So it's someone that can give us expertise about specific topics. Know that kind of thing. It's really important to then project and think about what can we do. And other very important thing is the last question, who do we know? Because there is a say that says something like, it's, it's not important to know, it's important to have the telephone number of the person who knows. So it's important to have those connections and keep in mind that, okay, if I need a lawyer, oh, I, I know some lawyer there, I know a, a lion who is a lawyer, or I know a, a lion who is an architect that, can, that will be able to help us. So, and then make this connection use brainstorming, think, okay, considering what we, what people told us, because we did those powerful questions, and then considering those answers people gave us about the, the powerful question, what solution can we have for that, yeah? It's important when we are talking about the problem is that we really, really try to identify the real problem. Because when we start to, to talk with people, they say many, 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 many different things, but somehow those are not real problems they have. So it's important to, it's, there's a technique that it's like you are drawing a tree and you write different concepts that people told you, and then you try to find the connections that make that tree and the different branch that the problem as a tree have with the needs uh, that people have, yeah? Oh. And then I, I try to find, uh, to identify the, the problem, the real problem, keeping in mind my potential as a clue, the thing we were talking early about who we are, what our experience and expertise, what are we able to do for that problem? Think about different solutions that you are able and do the thing of there's for also for using design thinking, you can write down in post-it different problems, different solutions, sorry. You write different solutions, different solutions in a board. And then with your cloud, you try to make the thing of thinking, okay, this is able and I move it there. This is not able and I move it back. Yeah, and try to identify different. Okay, if you have question, please write them there. Thank you. So you have to identify what are you able to do, so you can nivel your expectation with the expectation of the people that you are trying to help. Yeah. And then I was saying identify resources for that solution that you think. Oh, sorry, people. Oh, sorry. I'm no battery. I forget to connect my computer. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so. Just give me one second. Okay. <laughs> no, yes. Sorry for that. Yeah, I will say, uh, once you have an idea for a solution, you have to identify the resources you need for that solution. I, I told, I wrote, wrote down hand, how many people do we need? And think that it's not just the people you have in your own club, because many, many times you, you are partnership, you have partnership with another people and also your Lions Club can help you. So. Don't think that if you don't have, if you need 10 person and you don't have 10 person in your Leo Cloud, it doesn't mean that you are not able to develop that solution because you can ask the people. And as I was saying that it's important for you to get involved with the people that you are helping, maybe the people that you are helping can be also part of the project that you are developing and you can ask them for help to that. 
think about the time you need, the frequency. It's because when you are thinking about this kind of big project, it's not just one activity that you have to do. You will have to, I mean, twice a week, twice a month, every, every Sunday that you will have to go there and do something. Think about the money you need. And in that, you know, and I will be sharing with you an experience about the LCIF Leo service grant that you can, you can have the chance to ask for money for your Leo project. You can also think about partner with your Lions Club and your Lions Club contribute with money for that. And think about the materials that you need. I mean, if you are doing, I don't know, a cleaning, a, a cleaning in the beach, you need gloves, for example. What materials do you need? And the last thing that it's really important, and it, it takes many, 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 many cents if you are talking in a big project, an impactful sector project, it's partnership. Because always, always you will be able to do more if you partner with someone. Yeah. I was talking about making strategy alliance. Many, many times we think that our solution is the best one, and it's okay. And it's great to have this idea on mind. And we have to be convinced about that our idea is the best one. But probably there will be people or organization that already were working in something similar that our idea were thinking. So try to find those organizations, those people, contact with them, because it's also will give you more hands for your project and more visibility for your Leo Club and for the project you are doing. Yeah, try to find others' ideas and talk with them what you are thinking to do. Um, oh, sorry, I forget an E. So it's see how can you make it together, yeah? Propose them to do a partnership for your service project. And of course, one of your partners should be always be your Lions Club. It is important to have even, even more uh, Leo Lion working together service project, yeah? And organize your process timeline. This is very important. And here I just put a very simple example. Okay, when you're thinking about a, um, a project, you have to think and evaluate the possibilities, the problems and solutions you are doing. Then you have to go with planning your project. Of course, you have to be a current and do whatever you plan to do. And for the last time, it's really important to evaluate and celebrate. Because, you, you know, maybe uh, many times we just are thinking about doing, 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 and we don't take the time to evaluate that if what we are doing, it's really having the, the purpose that we thought we will have when we start with this project. So it's really important what we, once we are doing this kind of project, we evaluate and of course we celebrate because it's important to have these kind of things. And also when we talk about celebrating, celebrate with the people that we are helping. This is important because it helps that we connect and empathize with the need that we are trying to solve. Yeah. Uh, I was saying get involved in and have always, always, we need to keep in our mind that doing an impactful service project, it's not just one thing and one activity. It's something that we have to connect with the people we are helping. So it means that we have to go to their community many times. And of course, many times we think about solving one problem. And once we are there in their community and contact with their group, there will probably appear other needs that they have. And of course, you don't have to uh, try to solve everything that people say to you. You have to planify something, achieve that, and but keep in your mind that you will become a reference for service for that people. So try to help them to find solution for other problems that they could have. Yeah, because it's not like, for example, when you 
when you give someone um, a wheelchair, this is it's a one-time activity. You connect with the person, you give what they need, and you go to your home, and it's great. Those kind of activities are good. But when you think about really impactful activity, it's important for you to connect with people, and this means that people will reference you as a service. Um, you, you will become referent of service for that people, and they will ask you for many other solutions for problems they have. So yeah, don't overwhelm yourself about that, but yes, try to give them an answer and um, be with them. Okay. Uh, um, I was saying for the last, you have to evaluate everything you do and of course celebrate. Make, make, take a moment to say, okay, what we have done have made the, the we have achieved the result that we want, and we have to celebrate that. Yeah. And share your achievement. It is important as an organization that we share what we do, not just because um, because it makes us feel proud. We have to share the proud of being a Leo, share the proud of being a lion, and we because for many activities, we Leos or lion ask community for money. We do uh, we do different events where we where we. Uh, raise money so it's important that people know what we use for that money so that's why it's important to share your achievement and in that moment I wanted to share with you I know my, some of you already see this video this video is about a, a very impactful service project uh, my Leo and Lions Club did with the LCIF Leo Service Grant, we asked for five hundred dollars for the grant, and it was very interesting this project because when it, when we start to think about the project, we said, okay, with the money our Leo Club have and the LCIF Leo Service Service Grant, this will be enough. And then we start to connect with the people we were trying to help, and we realized that we need more money to really solve that. So then we integrate our Lion Club for the project, and then we integrate um, a company, a cell phone company that also give us more money to do a really, really good project. For your knowledge, this project was because there was a center in a really neat community that was in very bad condition. So our project was to rebuild this this center and because of the rebuilding we did we did an alliance with the government and nowadays there it's working a early childhood uh, care center for kids between zero and three years old so teenage mothers that are not allowed to continue their study at high school can uh, can keep their their children's there where are care with professional provided by the government during labor days. And in weekends, our Leo Club and Lions Club, we go there to play with kids and teach them things. So I will play the video now so you can know something. Este lugar ha estado trabajando aquí durante 20 años y durante los últimos años había estado cerrado porque el lugar necesitaba refacción, edilicia y demás. Cuando vinimos por primera vez, lo que más noté que era tipo un lugar triste, no, no era un lugar como para, para niños y menos para bebés, que era como lo que, el objetivo de esto, ¿no? La subvención de, de servicios para clubes Leos nos dio la oportunidad a nuestro Club Leo de hacer una obra de gran impacto dentro de nuestra comunidad. Una obra que si no hubiese sido por los fondos que recibimos a través de la Asociación Internacional, no hubiese sido posible. Lo que hicimos fue venir todos los fines de semana acá para pintar las paredes, cambiar el techo, limpiar el fondo 
y esto se empezó a convertir en otra cosa y vos ya lo veías, sabía que, que se estaba cometiendo en el lugar para que los niños pudiesen estar. Entonces con ese proyecto logramos reacondicionar el lugar y que vuelva a ser un punto de referencia para el barrio. Cuando vienen todos los gurises acá y es, es tipo tremenda felicidad porque es, es increíble, te transmiten toda esa energía y, y hacen que vos que quieras jugar. Todas las personas acá me hacen reír, me hacen divertir y todo. Que acá tengo amigos y me hace divertir mejor acá. Sobre todo lo que tiene importante esta actividad es una actividad de Leos y Leones juntos. Nunca hubo una división entre el proyecto de los Leos y el proyecto de los Leones. Siempre cada uno aportando desde sus conocimientos, su experiencia y el potencial de trabajo que tenía, brindó su granito de arena para que el proyecto sea un éxito. Muchas veces los clubes Leones estamos en nuestras realidades y no nos damos cuenta que el mundo está cambiando y los jóvenes nos obligan a, a darnos cuenta que, que, que cambiaron las cosas. Tener la posibilidad de acudir a la Asociación Internacional eh, nos permite soñar en grande. El confiar en los Leos, brindándoles apoyo económico, pueden y son capaces de mejorar la realidad en sus comunidades. Uh, that's our that was our project it was done three years ago and a very interesting and i think very important thing for when you are thinking about impactful service projects is that for this we really integrate the people we were helping as you saw we were painting the the and we were rebuilding the whole place And the people we were helping, they participate. They paint with us, they help us to clean up the place and everything. And that's a very important key that I think that we have to keep in our mind when we try to do real changes in the community that we are helping. Um, oh, no, not again. And well, the other thing I wanted to share with you is that remember we lions are global community so also try to connect with leos and lions in other parts of the world and ask them how are they doing their project because you can get really really good ideas if you know what are doing leos or lions in other parts of the world and also because if there's something that you maybe need as i mentioned it's important to have the number of the people who know So sometimes you need something that you don't have in your country. So remember that we are present in many, many, many countries. So you can ask for help. And of course, any Lee or Lion from other countries will be willing to help you in your service search. And um, well, thank you all. If you have any questions, you can contact me on my email or my cell phone. I'm able for everything I do help. I wish this presentation helped you for something. I was trying to make it briefly. It was blah, 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 maybe. But of course, I'm here very, very happy to share with you this idea. And I don't know if you have any question or comments. I, I like this kind of presentation to be a uh, together presentation. So if there's any comments, that you have about what I was saying during the presentation, feel free to share with us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Poya. That was very uh, impactful presentation. I very much enjoyed it. And I think our entire audience did as well. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to put them in the, the chat box below. So if while they're typing in Poya, I have one question. Uh, I think I know you a little bit better than Everyone else, what has been the highlight of your Leo experience, your Leo journey so far? What's, sorry, what's my highlight? No, you're the, the highlight, the best experience. Oh. 
Well, I think this project is it's one of the, the most highlighting projects I have done. Because as I mentioned, when we started working with this, we didn't realize the impact that it will have in the community. Because we think we thought, okay, we rebuild the place and that's all. And then we kept working there for almost three years. Nowadays, and also not just my Leo Club, my Leo Club goes there. Other Leo Clubs that want to participate every weekend, they go there, we give food to, to the kids in the community, we play with them, we help them with their homework for the school, for example. It's another activity we do. When, when they need uh, clothes, when they need food, we go there. For example, now we are, I mean, yeah, it was yesterday, my Leo Club went there to give presents for Christmas for the kids there. So th that's the most interesting thing that I was trying to share with you when, when you do a really impactful service project. It's that you realize that you keep connect with the community you have there. And we never realized when we start thinking about that, we didn't realize about it. It was just, okay, we go there, we build the place and that's all. And no, there were, there were a lot of other service projects that we were able to do there because we started with that. That's uh, very interesting. I think that's, and I can tell the passion when you're talking about it. I can see that it's had an impact on you and that's, it sounds like such an incredible project. I wish I could. I never get tired of seeing that video. I've seen that video so many times when I go with you and I never get tired because it's such an amazing video. Uh, Leo Chaitan, are there any questions for us, uh, for Poyo in the chat? Or is everyone a little bit shy today? I think everyone's shy today. Okay, if you're all being a little bit shy today, I think he shared his contact information. Please feel free to uh, contact him after the session. He's a very warm personality. I think he'll be sure to help you out. Uh, Chetan, do you have any questions that you'd like answered? Um, nothing really. Nothing really? No. It was a great presentation. So, Poyo, actually, um, I think just to close us out for today, I know that you had uh, you were doing a very interesting presentation on our International Leo Day, which is on December 5th. Do you want to share a little bit about what changes are coming at the international level for Leo clubs? Yeah, well, um, okay, we had some news about branding. That's great. It was renew our brand, Leo Club branding. We have, a, it's not a new logo, but we have a new design for the Leo, Leo logo. Also, we have unified the Leo logo. We don't even have more the Alpha logo and the Omega logo. We have just one. So go ahead and check it. And also there's something interesting for social media that we create a Canva, um, Canva, oh, I forget the word, template, template. We have Leo template in Canva that you can use if you have to promote your activities on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, or wherever you prefer to use, you can use that. And that's, that's really, really, really great that we had it. And yeah, and all the all the materials we had about Leo Club were updated and uh, looks really, really, really good. So yeah. And also I want to share with you if I just put it on the chat, my presentation, I just did it. If you want to watch it again, I know it don't have so much information, but yeah, if you want to check it later and if you have any other question about my presentation, you can contact me there, also there on the presentation, you have my email and phone number if you need. Uh, yeah, don't be shy if you have something to ask. So if no one has anything to add, no questions, and we're all gonna contact Poyo after the session, Chetan, do you wanna close us out for today? Uh, yeah, it's been a great presentation, but we have one more announcement. Um, this is the last uh, lead with the vision for the year. Uh, we are having a holiday uh, presentations from the 26th through the 29th. Um, and all across the world, this time of 
year is a time for all of us to come together. In commemoration of our international theme, the New Jersey Visionary Cyber Leo Club of District 16J wants to facilitate a cross-cultural festival holiday exchange to help us be united in kindness and diversity. For the past few months, our Leo Club has held a weekly leadership series called Lead with the Vision to help our members and other attendees develop strong community-minded leadership skills. As a part of the series, we will be hosting a five installation mini series each day from Friday, December 25th to Tuesday, December 29th. Each day will feature a presentation from cultural representatives about one of five major festivals celebrated as part of the holiday season, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Diwali, Eid, and Hanukkah. We will be broadcasting the pre-recorded 30-minute session on our YouTube and Facebook live channels to a regular audience of a few hundred viewers. And all the information for that's on the screen, as well as the place you can go to register. It's at 1130 Eastern time each day from the 26th uh, till uh, for five days, covering five, as Jason was saying, five of the major holidays we're celebrating around this time. And you can see we have a, a bunch of esteemed guest speakers. I hope you'll join us for that and they can provide some insight into their own culture so we can facilitate that cultural exchange. Jaitan, you want to end our vote of thanks? All right. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. It's been a great episode. See you later. And definitely thank special all. thanks to Poyo for taking the time out of his day, joining us all the way from Uruguay. Be hacked to all. So keep safe. Keep safe, everyone. And definitely thank you, Chetan, for agreeing to host today. I know it's a, it's a big task sometimes. Thank you for taking up uh, the mantle. Of course. And hope to see you all for our uh, cultural exchange next week. And also, happy holidays, everyone. Whatever you guys are celebrating, hope you guys all have very safe, enjoyable holidays, and hope you guys have a, a great winter or summer break, wherever, whichever hemisphere you're in. Hope you all enjoy.